Archaeon having 60 melee defense seems pretty high, but when Imrik decides to drop on him with his massive 74 melee attack and that extra 50 charge bonus, this is far from enough, especially when there is Lord of Dragons debuffing his melee stats, lowering his melee defense even further. And that is when you cast this Cascading Fire Cloak, providing that extra 24 melee defense, stacking up on top of Stand or Die, providing a whopping 48 melee defense buffs, counteracting the Lord of Dragons, and Archeon's melee defense ends up even higher than Imric's attack. And you can see as Imric loses his charge bonus over time, he is failing to land any more hits onto Archaeon. While Archaeon, ignoring the Lord of Dragons debuff, counterpunching with extreme prejudice, up to almost a thousand weapon strength under the damage boost of the Slayer of Kings and Cascading Fire Cloak, Imric is taking some massive damage as he is now pinned down in melee combat by a surprisingly tanky Archaeon. To quickly sum up this spell, Cascading Fire Cloak is a great tool to counter character assassinations. It is a great combination of defense and offense, giving your characters the sturdy defense they need to hold their ground against sniping attempts. And as your character holds their ground, they will be punching back hard with vengeance, doing some valuable damage to the expensive goon squads or assassins, just like Archeon here denying Imric from a successful assassination and paying him back with a proper beating, putting him down to less than half health with the javelin fire support. 